Hey, this is Catherine. In my last video, I had talked about visiting Lalish, which is the home of the Yazidis. On our third day in Iraqi Kurdistan, we visited Saddam Hussein's palace near the Ahmadi district. We drove into a town in Ahmadi district and met up with one of Haval's friends to kind of guide us to the top of the mountain to see the palace. Here inside of one of Saddam Hussein's many palaces is at the top of Gara Mountain, which has amazing views. So no wonder he has a palace here. It's very much destroyed, and right now it is occupied by the Peshmerga forces because there is a conflict with the PKK because Turkey wants to take over Iraqi Kurdistan land. So does ISIS. So right now they are occupied because we are near um, those areas. So right now, in order to get up there, it was easier to find somebody who knew people in the force, and that's how we were able to get up to Saddam Hussein's palace. This was one of Saddam's vacation homes. That's what it was meant to be. But right now, it's currently being used as a cell tower and as the military's base at the moment. And you can kind of see, because of the view, why Saddam built a palace there is obviously very beautiful. Below the palace is a cave. You can drive down there with a vehicle, but it was meant to be used for cable cars to come from the town below, and they can just ride up to the top of the mountain and visit the palace themselves. So in 1991, it stopped because the war broke up and some other political issues. So this supposed to be, was going to be built as a telefreak, until you see that mountain uh -huh. the end the very end the highest one it's called mateen mountain obviously it didn't work out the cave is being used as nothing and it was pretty awesome to see a different part of the mountain range while we were there welcome to kurdistan i'm running last video of my Iraqi Kurdistan trip. If you like and subscribe, you'll be notified about my upcoming videos regarding my travels to Turkey.